And with ZBrush 2023 Summit coming to an end, here are a few features that will be coming to ZBrush 2024. Some of these features, which we're going to be taking a look at, are more of quality of life improvement features, which will allow artists create faster. Although most of these features are targeted towards environment artists, but character artists can also benefit from them. Starting off, we're looking at the Uncut Brush which was introduced in ZBrush 2023. This now has a brand new update as the update allows artists to make dots on various parts of a model and move them. So for subtle parts, instead of using the transpose line or using the anchor brush, you can now use the anchor point and move several parts of your model in various directions, making it more easier to control models, especially when you're posing them. Now, one can't help but remember the famous Photoshop anchor point, as this looks like a very beautiful implementation that copies exactly that for 3D. And adding to the previous stroke type that exists in ZBrush, there is now a brand new stroke type that is coming to ZBrush 2024. This is called the Drag Stamp. And this is a bit different from the previous drag rectangle as it provides artists with an intensity shift when they drag out alphas on their model. This finish will give artists a bit more flexibility on how they play and create with alphas, offering a more finite control during sculpt detailing. And while we're still on the topic of strokes, it is interesting to see that for ZBrush 2024, insert meshes will now be able to use all strokes. Interestingly, instead of using the curve mode, you can now easily use any of the strokes alongside your insert meshes. And for modifications, these can be done with the lazy mouse and within the flow stepping section, which can lead to more precise insert mesh strokes. And just like curves, once you hold down shift, you'll be able to draw lines and define your strokes even more properly. And about three years ago, we did see the undo feature make its first appearance to ZBrush. Now the undo feature, which allows you to go back in time and refine your scope, now has a brand new update. This now gives users more control with a brand new button called replay to similar. This allows you to run through your history, mark a simple point of undo, and you can replace the previously sculpted insert meshes or paintings on similar meshes. Now this in its sense, is a whole new level of modular proceduralism that has just made its way to ZBrush. So instead of redoing your curves over and over, or going through to paint similar meshes, or adding the same detail to all of the other meshes that you've done before, you can simply do all of this with one click. So all you need to do is modify one of them, and with a new update to the undo feature, you'll be able to replace, retexture, and reinsert meshes with a single click once they all have the same instance. And for masking, there are a few updates coming to masking. One of them gets to deal with how you control your gizmo when working with the masking tool. There is also an additional one, and this one deals with selection. Over time, when you get to select stuff, you have to grow them or shrink them. And that is where the new grow all button comes in and the new shrink all feature also comes in. As with this, you can select all objects that are slightly masked 100% or you can select objects which are fully masked 100%. In terms of when you do an overall selection and there are objects that are out of bounds of the mask, if you like to select all of them, you can use the grow all button and this would select all of the objects. And if there are objects that you just want to select that are within the bounds, but you like to exclude the ones that are slightly selected, then the shrink all mask actually comes in handy in that case. And still speaking about ZBrush 2024 and all the features that are coming with it, all of the noise that exists in Cinema 4D are now available in ZBrush. Artists can now play with noise however they want and use this to drive that organic feel that they've always wanted to with their models. All of these tools and all of the features and implementations that have been done or previewed for ZBrush 2024 are more of quality of life update and they would amount to some interesting creations and will drastically save a ton of time for artists when working with it. It's also worth mentioning that during the ZBrush 2023 summit, they did mention that ZBrush is coming for iPad. And of course, for those who are thinking about checking this one out, there's a video for that. And if you'd like to be part of the beta testers for ZBrush coming to iPad, then a link to that is also going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. So this is it, tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section, all of these features that are coming to ZBrush, which of them do interest you and how excited are you about the new ZBrush coming to iPad. I'd like to know what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and I'd like to see you guys in the next one, peace.